And we are learning more after a Hawkins County man was sent to the hospital following an officer involved shooting. This happening in the Bulls Gap community last night. According to a release from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, the shooting happened on North VFW Road after a woman told officers her husband was trying to harm himself. Reporter Kristen Gallant now is in Bulls Gap with all the latest. Residents here in Bulls Gap said they heard gunshots Sunday night around 930, but didn't know what exactly was going on right down the street. We live out here and, and people shoot guns all the time. I do from time to time myself, so people don't think anything about it. The TBI is now investigating the officer involved shooting. It happened after Hawkins County Sheriff's Office say they saw an abandoned car in the VFW auxiliary parking lot on North VFW Road in Bulls Gap. Uh, VFW is just three quarters of a mile out there on the left. Down the street from Rick Seals, Greene County and Hawkins County deputies were looking for 44 year old Michael Snyder. A woman told officers that Snyder talked about harming himself and walked into a wooded area nearby. Residents were startled by the noise they heard down the street. My nephew called, said that uh, some friends of his had said they were looking for somebody. And that was after we saw a sheriff's car and we called 911. According to the TBI, deputies found Snyder a short distance away where he had climbed a tree. The TBI report says during a confrontation with the deputies, Snyder fired a weapon. And then we heard something real distinct and we looked at each other and we was like, that's gunshots. <laughs> So then it got scary. Hawkins County and Greene County deputies returned fire and hit Snyder. He was taken to a nearby hospital. It got a little crazy. Everybody was calling to check on us. Are you guys okay? No deputies were injured during this shooting, and this is still under investigation by the TBI. In Hawkins County, Kristen Gallant.